Hello YouTube, this is Level Blue here, back again with another video. Uh, this video is the promised one from last uh, my last video, which was the upgrade from the GTX 1070 to the 3060 Ti. Last video, I mentioned that I'm retiring my old GTX 1070 and upgrading to this new one, RTX 3060 Ti. And I mentioned that I might do a few videos on it, like unboxing, benchmarks and a comparison between the GTX 1070. Last video was solely the GTX 1070 and how it compares six years after its release, which I think it showed that it's still a good graphics card in the mid tier on 1080p high settings, most games, good experience, 60 FPS, all that. But I'm upgrading to the 3060 and to 1440p gaming, 144 Hertz. That is the plan for this card. I think it can achieve that on most games, even modern games, might be you have to use uh, DLSS, but I think that's a good compromise to get high FPS over 100 FPS on most games, especially competitive games, where the visual quality is not the most important. So in this video, we will be just looking at the unboxing experience. This is the Founders Edition, you can, you can tell from the box, that is uh, just straight from Nvidia, not aftermarket. I managed to win this luckily on eBay on, in a bidding war with a lot of people. I think there was like over 50 bids on this and I won it for 300 pounds. And I think that's a good deal for me, at least personally. I managed like two, three years ago to get uh, 10, the 1070 for, for about 250, maybe 220, somewhere in that range used. And now two, three years later, I'm getting this one for about 300. So the market has increased even though it's and it's a lower tier 60 Ti, but the performance between this 60 Ti and the 3070, which was my original target, was less than 10%, I believe, in most scenarios. Maybe if you're looking for even higher, like 4K, maybe the difference is higher there. But for my experience and for my needs, I think 3060 Ti is more than enough. It's using the same chipset, it's using the same amount of VRAM and I think it's the same speed of the the VRAM, the same overall megabits per second is the same and the performance is I believe less than 10% between the two graphics cards. So I think this is a good deal and for the 3070 getting even used it's closer to 400 pounds than 300. So I believe this was in the end a good deal. So in this video mainly focusing on the uh, unboxing like I said so you can see uh, and may also inspecting it. I, had, I would see if since it's a used card and I saw a lot of the founders editions. I don't know how popular they are for mining. Let's we want to I'm going to show you like an inspection of it. See if, if you can tell if it's a mining card or not. When I bought it on the eBay listing, there was minimal information. I think the descriptions were only a single sentence in the description and it didn't say anything from the pictures. You couldn't tell really much of anything. So you'll see the card and from visual inspections, most of the time you probably won't be able to see anything and tell any difference between that and the mining card. But in the later on, I don't know if this video or next video, we'll go into the BIOS and we'll go into the performance and see if it's the same performance that you usually expect from the 360i. If it's lower than expected, then that might mean it's a mining card. But from a visual standpoint, I did open it when I got it to inspect for shipping damage. Uh, but only for like quick quick overlook and then I closed it up and I waited for to make this video for this for the first experience and from my first expression impressions this is very well kept it's actually extremely clean I don't see any dust at all even between the fins so it's been cleaned very well I don't know it doesn't look like it's been opened uh, it looks pretty intact no scuff marks don't know anything no screws missing so I have a good feeling that this was just not used very much and not mined on and overall in very good quality but we'll see from the performance if that's the case if I have to return it or not let's mention also this which is for the founders edition I think most aftermarkets are not using it but the founders is definitely using it is this new 12 pin standard for the for the power supply it's different it, most older power supplies from a few years ago might not support this new one. I think, I don't know, can you tell if it's it's not focusing here? Most power supplies from older, you need to use an adapter for them. But the newest power supplies, I believe they have it integrated, especially modular power supplies have one included. 
for this. My one is an old one, so it doesn't have the... It's not a modular either, so I need to use this, which it's not good. I don't think it's not it's not best practice to use adapters for graphics cards or high powered equipment. But I think for the 36 Ti, it's not like a 3090 Ti, which is crazy power hungry, in where the power adapter could make a a, a, a difference or it could cause a fire. I believe this is very efficient, low power usage, and it will have it. I don't think it's going to create any problems using this adapter. This is it for the video, it's a very simple video, you're just looking at the card. I think the Founders Edition design is a very good looking design, very compact. It looks even smaller than my old one actually. Um, but I'll show a side by side once I install this in the system, I'll take pictures of both. I think in last video you saw it, the, my previous GTX 1070 in the case. But I'll bring it on screen and show you what it looks like. Uh, before and after between the new one and the old one. I think my old one had RGB, this one doesn't have RGB on it, so it'll be a bit, you know, but I don't care too much about RGB. I think that's the, the least important bit in a graphics card. But anyway, that's it for the video. Next video will be the performance benchmarks. I'll be testing at 1080p, 1440p, maybe 4K, testing the RTX or the ray tracing performance, testing the DLSS performance, which I'm looking forward to, especially the DLSS high frame rates, high, high resolution, which looks pretty similar to native resolution. And we'll see how it goes and if it, this was a good purchase. Anyway, see you guys.